Okay. Why would you do that? What? The why fuck? the? Why would you do that? I, oh my gosh, <laughs> hey. bro. It stinks. <laughs> That's a stain right there, bro. That shit stank, don't it? Maybe the guy just thought that that lady's face looks like toilet. That is very disrespectful, though. I don't think that guy can try it to any of uh, to just any lady. Well, that is a crazy moment when a very popular social media influencer, his name is Ice P, decided to frat on his on the woman's face during their live video. And my question is. What was he trying to gain from it? But well, most definitely, we gained a lot of uh, reaction from viewers, a lot of views, and of course, the social media red relevance. Why will you stand up and turn your whole ass on a woman's face and pollute? You frat on her face. Also, lame man, absolutely, seriously lame. Why will you stand up and you just think that okay, you know what? This woman's face looks just like toilet, and I need to frat on her face. Everybody frats. That is known. Yeah, everybody frats. If you don't frat as a human being, then I think something is wrong with you. you. Most definitely go and go try and see the doctor. But not on someone's face. Purposely, I bet you he can't do that to any of all those uh, celebrities. He's very, very popular. Let's, for instance, decide to uh, invite Nicki Minaj or any of all those uh, female, female uh, artists to his uh, live video and he decide to frat on their face. Man, so, so disrespectful. But his fans are going to say, oh, another crazy thing to come to high speed life and laugh with him and everything. That is extremely disrespectful. Really, really disrespectful. Despite that woman didn't laugh, the girl didn't, lie, lie, didn't uh, show out her hunger, she was just smiling. That doesn't mean what that guy did was cool. It wasn't cool. Very disrespectful. That being said, let's uh come back to Ninja. let's come back to Ninja matter i don't know the issue between pretty boy do versus udumodu black but all i can say is that udumodu black said oh, that is not a clone of pretty boy do udumodu black said that pretty boy do never put him on Never did any anything for him. That he was the one that was doing things for Pretty Boy Dio. Well, I like this kind of beef, but the beef shouldn't go bloodly. I like this kind of beef, but the beef shouldn't turn bloodly. As long as it just beef, call me, I call you out, it's okay. But they shouldn't extend it to the other part. You understand? So let's listen to Udumudu Black and Pretty Boy Dio. Silence, 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 silence. <laughs> First of all, that's it, sir. First of all, Baba say, you don't get issue with me. You don't see where Fireboy and Rema be friend, but Fireboy go the source the priest agenda, ulterior motive. Talk about being real, but you faking your number. You do number one for Spotify. You don't see you for Apple Music. Top 100. Competition day your mind. I'm not talking to you because of TZ, pussy ass, dirty, silly, jealous, envious, fucking dirty bastard. That's what you are. Now. When you came to ABJ, I did your shit for you, man. That, that, that's, not even the, that's not even the P. You go around telling people, I'm your clone. Even though, bro, we don't make the same music. Stop trying to put me in the same box with you, man. I'm messy. You're a hazard, bro. Know this thing. I never come out to say I'm better than anybody, but you, Dio. 
You are beneath me, a pig. You came to ABJ. I did your show for you. A blown artist in ABJ. I went to UTC. I did tags for you, Dio. I did MC. I wore suits. I got the venue. I got the bouncers. You were scared, nigga, to show up. I promoted that show for you. I called people. You told me how people know they go near the stage. I do MC. Kai them come. You want to take shots at my organization, throwing stone in the glass house like you're a dummy. Now, I don't do, I don't do video for you now, but I drop single, make you blow. Drop single, make you blow. Not be all this talk, talk, talk. Show walking. Show walking. We put our blood on this pee. You get what I'm saying, my brother? Not be chow, chow, chow. You feel life for Twitter people, but you don't feel life for your mind because you're a dirty, stinking, fucking, envious, jealous bastard. That's why you are pussy ass thing. Bitch, let me talk a moody. When you see me, go the other way. If nobody fights, go the other way. Pussy. Well, like I've said before, okay, let me play you the next one. Let me play the next one first. Like I've said before, as long as the beef is all about talking on the internet, not good turning into a, a, a gang fight or whatsoever, I'm cool with it. I don't know where this man is they call from. I don't know where this man is they call from. Listen, I can swear my life. I've never called you my clone. Ask your boss, say this and I keep you can do the same. I bet you he cannot because three days before his the native announced you, he told me they want me to sign your clone. You helped me for my show. Yes, that's why I love you. There's many more things you did. That's why I love you. But you come and insult my platform. You say TZ is the champion. No be my 2019, 2019 show where you come for Lagos, the first show where you do where you meet up. Then he used to call you Raz. He used to call you Raz. I used to fight for you. You come here because I've been silent since. I don't know what narrative has been pictured to you. You come and use that narrative against me. You know, God will never allow that to happen. Because she didn't ask you that the truth. He will never allow that to happen. You bring word to my doorstep, bro. I could, I could reply at his time. Me and I beat you. Me and I beat you. Don't worry about it. Because see as you go. I love you. They should try and take it easy. And uh, try to understand each other way more better. Mm -hmm. Try to take it easy and try to understand each other way more better. The more the black get very strong face, like a uh, boner boy. <laughs> they look alike so much. And the pretty boy, D.O., is somebody that is that has been uh, in the music industry for a very, very long time, but uh, it's not that quite popular. But we know him. We know him well. We know him well. So the thing we say, as as long as this guy are beefing on the internet, maybe I call each other out, it's okay. But by the time they start resorting to a gang fight, that is what I do not support. You guys need to chill. Maybe somebody in between them is sharing some wrong information to this person and also to this person. I have witnessed this before. Where someone will tell this person so so stuff, someone will tell this person so so stuff, and thereby putting the two people to head together, you know, making them enemies and everything. So I think these guys are guys, eh? It's good for them to uh, pour out their, uh, their frustration at each other, but they shouldn't take it really, really seriously. Eh? They should just chill, relax, and learn from their from their senior. Learn from their senior. Me, you know who I'm talking about. They only just call each other out on social media or their fans fight. That's all. They, see, I've always said this. I don't ever want eh, Nigeria entertainment industry start becoming so bloody like South Africa industry because our african industry is pretty much messed up really really messed up so i wouldn't want i wouldn't want honestly that it become is now turning to be that so i think they can still resolve their matter their differences by coming together just uh just uh speaking out talking to each other and trying to iron each other out and uh, they are would they were once good friends according to what they said the ones assisted each other so why they would they bring the beef now? Well, we have uh, people going up. I know guys are beefing. Bona Boy is about to perform at the Grammys here now. Hmm? Big up to Bona Boy for that. They're about to perform at the Grammys. It's crazy stuff, right? Perform at the Gram Grammy the last time. And they're also about to perform again. Again. Well, I just hope. I just hope it. Uh, it's a win-win for Africa, though, because I, I, I already say who I prefer, who I want to, who I'm wishing it wins that Grammy. But people said, "Oh, Adam Smith, you're a blogger. You shouldn't be preferring. 
You, you shouldn't be saying, oh, I want this person to win the Grammy. Come on, man. I told you I'm not that kind of blogger. This person who is who sent me that message twice. I told you I'm not that kind of blogger. I'm the blogger that, okay, even despite, this is a discussion platform. I also have my right to discuss. I also have my preferences. I'm not a celebrity. I'll tell you this exactly where I want to make you win the Grammy. Like I said before, that David do I want to make David do win the Grammy. That is me. That's who I want. Some of you will say I do not like David do. Now the next person says I do not like Border Boy. But the day I speak good about Border Boy, oh, I too like Border Boy. The day I speak good about uh, David do, oh, I too like David do. The day I speak good about whiskey or bad about, oh, I don't like whiskey. Oh, I too like whiskey. You know, it's just a roller coaster. But for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know, I know, say, I know they take side. If I talk, I, I talk. I'm not a very, I'm not very dark man. Or oh, I'm looking for that massive thing called the rob all those people. But they, no, 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 no. I have my own platform. I am just cruising around, trying cruising around. I'm talking my own view, man. I say my own view. You talk your own. You understand what I mean?